Good afternoon, everybody. This is David with I-95 Computers and TechFront.net. I hope everybody's doing well. In our last video, we talked about the very basics on how to get a Unify network up and running. We talked about the Dream Machine here. We talked about a switch. We talked about an access point. The basic things required to get your Unify network up and running. Well, I've been doing this long enough. There's another way to get Unify up and running. And you do it what we used to call the manual way, the good old Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus here. Now, before the Dream Machines come to be, you had a product called the USG which would do about 85 to 100 megs fully loaded if you had IPS and IDS packet inspection and you're pulling all your data. You could get about 100, about 85 to 100 meg throughput on this device. Then you could slide up to what we call the USG Pro, which would give you 250 to 500 meg if you were lucky with all of your features turned on, depending on what you had turned on and how you were using the device. Which kind of left a gap for the folks with higher connections and you know fiber one gig is becoming more common and in some cases higher than a gig for certain businesses and that's where the Dream Machine and the Dream Machine Special Edition that you see here kind of stepped in to fill that void. And as mentioned in the last video, these are all in one unit. You have the Unify console, your switch, an SFP port, your LAN port. Everything was housed in. Which left you wondering, what was the Cloud Key Gen 2 for over here? This was the, if you will, the quote, old way of doing things. You would have one of these hanging off the network, off your PoE switch in most cases, and it would house your Unify software, a little bit of storage for Unify cameras, and you would manage your network or multiple networks off of the Unify Cloud Key Gen 2. Now, the Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 and the Dream Machine do not play together. So you kind of, if you wanted to use one of these, you had to go to the lower throughput devices, the USG and the USG Pro. That was until just a few days ago. Ubiquity has finally brought a new device to the table to replace the USG and the USG Pro, and they call it the Next Generation Gateway Pro. And for those that like the letters and numbers, it is the UXG Pro-US. The dual WAN security device designed to protect medium and large size networks with enterprise class firewall configuration and threat management features. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Now, you notice, look here, no switch. Fiber in, fiber out, ethernet in, ethernet out. There is no management built in to this device. You have to as mentioned, get this cloud key, Gen 2 Plus. This takes you back to the old way of doing things. This is the way I did things. My first Unified deployments were either you installed Unify on a PC, this is before hosted Unify was a thing, or you used a cloud key, which has been through several generations. This is the cloud key Gen 2. Again, PoE powered or USB C powered, has an internal hard drive for basic Unify camera storage. There supposedly is a 5 terabyte model. Now, you use this controller with 
go back here. The next gen Gateway Pro UXG Pro device. So you get the throughput and the abilities on the hardware side of the Dream Machine in a device that is managed via the cloud controller. Now, why would you want this? Well, there are certain small businesses out there that pay people to manage their networks. We help manage networks. There are other people out there that help manage networks. And you can have multiple networks and multiple sites on that cloud key. And in some cases, you would buy this device to have your management not on the device. That would be my reason for doing it. In my opinion, it makes it more secure. You can also manage these devices with web or mobile. But if I'm doing the old school unified deployments, this would be how I'm doing it. For someone that wants the gateway, the gateway to be unified and understands the limitations of gateway, the unified gateway, such as open VPN not supported. Certain site to site VPN configurations aren't directly supported. Keep that in mind. Now you've got a 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor. As I mentioned, two LAN ports. You've got a 10 gig SFP plus, the one gig standard RJ45, two LAN ports, one being SFP plus and RJ45. You've got the full DPI IPS IDS firewall setup, and you do have smart power for redundant power, and it is a 1U rack mount mountable device. Now, we're going to order one of these and get one of these in and kind of do a little review because, like I said, this is the way I like to deploy my Unify networks. I prefer to have things on a cloud key. I'm old school. I do it the old school way. And we will compare on a one gig fiber connection and possibly a multi gig fiber connection how well both of these devices do. What are the performance differences? Now keep in mind, software is software. So don't go into this thinking that you're going to buy the XG here I think we're calling it right. Let me look and see. The UXG, sorry. The UXG here and go, well, I'm going to get new features and it's going to have open VPN or whatever site to site you're looking for or whatever feature that has been mentioned that you're looking for. No. This is different hardware. The software and software features remain the same. Keep that in mind. Maybe if you're looking different features, but still want the single pane of glass network, you need to go take a look at the new TP-Link Armada. Maybe that would help. We'll talk about that in a later video. Or if you're more enterprise level and you want support, there's the Cisco Meraki options out there. We'll talk about those later as well. But for now, let's finish up focusing on the UXG Pro. As I mentioned, it is the USG and USG Pro replacement managed with the cloud key. Same features as the Dream Machine. The management is different. Keep that in mind. And when we get to the next video, we'll actually go through a deployment and you can see how we deploy one of these devices and kind of see for yourself what it can do, what it can't do. But that'll have to wait the next time as hopefully our unit is on the UPS truck or the FedEx truck and headed this way. 
So we will see you folks next time. Check us out, techfront.net, or jump over there and you'll see a new website in development, i95computers.com. If we can answer your questions, fill out the contact form, send an email, sales at i95computers. We will be more than happy to help you and more than happy to answer your questions. Hands-on support is what we do, and we appreciate you guys. Take care, folks, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.